So in this AI dashboard, we take a look at all the ECGs you've had in our system mm -hmm. and run them through a number of artificial intelligence algorithms. And again, these are not FDA approved, and so they're used for um, clinician guidance, but we use clinical judgment in interpreting these. And right now, the dashboard has four specific tests. The first one is ECG age, and it looked to see the age of the person and the age of the ECG. And when we look at your, e your age now is 51 and a half, and the ECG is that age is that of someone who's 46. So, what are you doing, Tracy? High five. High five. <laughs> so what that means is that you're living a healthy life, and we've seen some people tend to age a little slower than time. This looks terrific. So my chronological age is 71, almost 72. Right. But I have the physiologic age of a how old? 59. 59. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And so interestingly, you'll notice that while you were working, while you're busy operating, <laughs> you were a little bit older than your stated age. Wow. But now that you've retired, you seem to be getting younger. Awesome. I so retired sooner. Yeah. <laughs> when might the general public be able to, to see something like this? And do you, are you doing that on Mayo Clinic patients now? Yeah. So we are um, we're using some of these as part of a research study. And in that context, about 20,000 people have had this processing of their standard ECG. And some of these will start to be submitted to FDA to then make them marketable and more widely usable. And, and uh, we expect to see that maybe within a year or so. Well, I don't want you to retire, but I would recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good <laughs> advice. Yeah. Good to see you. Yes. Great Thank to see you. you.